Let's go back to our top story. Music legend David Bowie has passed away at the age of 69 after a long battle with cancer. With us this morning to talk about, more about the legacy, uh, music industry expert Eric Elper. Good morning to you this morning. Right. How shocking was this to wake up and hear this this morning? Unbelievably shocking. Yeah. I mean, he just released his latest album called Black Star on Friday, marking his 69th birthday. People in the industry knew that he was a very private man, which is strange considering how many personas were public about him. Right. Uh, everything from the Ziggy Stardust to the Thin White Duke to, you know, the Less Dance era. We knew so much about his music and about his sense of style, but nothing really about his personal life in the last 10, 15 years. And now we know that he's been battling cancer for the last 18 months. Yeah, and so the, the legacy here, what is it? It's untouchable. Yeah. I mean, there might only be Paul McCartney in terms of power and influence over the, 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 the songs and the way that the music industry went. In fact, in 2002, he did an interview with the New York Times um, where he said that he had no use for record labels and that copyright was going to be thrown out the window, essentially predicting <laughs> yeah. exactly how it's going to be. Yeah. He was one of the smartest, keenest guys in the music industry and changed styles so much, not in terms of just music, but in terms of fashion and culture and art and painting. Well, but all his reinventions led the way to yet another cultural shift. Absolutely. You know, you can go as far back as, as Ziggy Stardust and even before then. You know, there's two kind of marks in music where everything changed. When the Beatles appeared on Ed Sullivan and when David Bowie appeared on Top of the Pops as Ziggy Stardust because everybody watching knew that you didn't, have to have any barriers anymore, not just to music, but you can be gay, you can be bisexual, you can pretend that you're from space, and a lot of people did. And people forget that in the time of, of shocking with a tweet now, this was life-changing for hundreds of thousands of people yeah. in the UK and then uh, scattered across North America. Eric, thanks for this morning. Appreciate Thank it. you very much for having me.